is a message that isn't shared often enough, the message of hope. Nine on your side reporter Kendall Harold has the story of a Sycamore Township man who's inspiring people across the country in a way he never thought possible. As a junior at the University of Cincinnati, Ryan Atkins was on top of the world. It was 2009. He had a full ride scholarship with a good internship, enjoying everything that comes with college life. Pretty much on top of the world. I thought at 21 years old, what could be better? All of a sudden, I am um, driving with some fraternity brothers and lost control of the car. The accident changed his life. Um, next thing I know, I. Um, broke my neck and I was in the hospital for um, about four months and uh, paralyzed below the shoulders and not really given much hope from doctors and pretty much told that this would be my life. Ryan quickly began intense physical therapy. Pretty quickly I realized that I, as, as hard as I tried, I physically would not be able to overtake um, the paralysis on my own and um, a, a miracle is is what I would need. Four years, dozens of those intense physical therapy sessions and hundreds of prayers later, the 25 year old has found himself on a journey he never expected. Mouse nine, press enter key. In September, his blog went live with the help nine, of one, voice activated computer eight, two, software. Two. Oftentimes when I sense the angst, this piece helps me remind me of the distance I've already traveled. Flatonmyback.com started as a way for Ryan to keep his friends and family updated on his progress, which he's made a lot of. In this video from last year, you can see Ryan moving his leg. It's posts like these that started quickly catching the attention of others facing adversity. I've gotten to interact with people with spinal cord injuries from other cities and um, people dealing with various other issues that I, I never would have thought I would have the opportunity to interact with when I just thought I would send it out to a few friends a month ago. And Ryan says he has one main message for those listening. There, there's no situation that's beyond redemption and I, I'm really just excited about what the future holds. He's continuing to update his blog and continuing to fight to regain his strength. He tells me a book could even be in his future.